Vietnam War veterans remains are back on American soil this evening. It's a day his family waited half a century to see. News on Six's Amy Slanchik is live on the story in Claremore. Amy. Craig and Terry, after being missing in action for 51 years, Colonel Martin Scott's remains are back on the land he fought to be free. As everyone waits patiently for the moment the American hero lands, it's difficult to imagine what waiting five decades must feel like. It's hard growing up without a dad. The American Airlines flight is here, and Colonel Martin Scott is home. Finally got to come home. I was 16 years old when he got shot in. Don Daniels waited most of his life for the moment his uncle would come home. A moment he's proud the community paused for, standing along the escort route with American flags, showing respect for the Vietnam War veteran. It's dad. Ron Scott was 12 when his dad was shot down in Vietnam back in 1966. He remembers his dad's pride in serving as a pilot for the Air Force. He also remembers the fun he had. You can see it in this picture. What most people don't realize is what he's sitting on. It's, a, it's an air-to-air -air missile that's mounted on an aircraft, and he's just sitting there smiling, a great big smile, and you're just kind of wondering, what is he thinking? A joint recovery team between the U.S. and Vietnam worked for years to find and identify his dad's remains. Now that he's home, his family knows they weren't the only ones waiting for him. The American people still care about their veterans coming home. Colonel Scott was just 34 years old. His funeral will be here at the Rice Funeral Home tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Anyone is welcome to attend and show support for him and his family. Live on the scene on the story in Claremore, Amy Slanchik, News on 6.